WWE 2K18 is quite a notorious Nintendo Switch port. It ha does have very, very, very bad frame rates uh, at times during uh, entrances and during the story mode cutscenes, and some fr uh, a lot of frame drops when you're doing like a Royal Rumble, for example, or a fight a four way, so you've got more than two men in the ring. Now, it does go on offer quite a lot here in the UK, especially for like £10 odd, and uh, this video is basically, is it worth picking up there when it's on offer? And if you are a wrestling fan and you have a Switch and you just want something portable, like for example, uh, if you have a Switch Lite, uh, I think this game is good enough to pick up for like a tenner. Uh, you know, you can, you can use the in-game currency to unlock all your you know, in, in, any of the old star wrestlers that you want. I stopped watching WWE back when it was WWF in like 2003. Um, uh, just just because, you know, I was, a, I, I was about 15, 16 and I moved on to different things. However, I do look back on the Attitude Era of WWF very, very fondly and do enjoy watching the matches uh, from time to time now. So, uh, like a handful of my favourites wrestlers ever are uh, Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, Chris Jericho and uh, thankfully obviously you can play as all of those characters uh, in this game and when you're wrestling and actually in the ring it's it's, it's you know it's, it's a it's a good wrestling game it's not great uh, it's not amazing I'm not gonna lie to you uh, and I would not at all in any way shape or form pick this game up at full price uh, if I'd have paid a full 50 quid for this game I'd have been raging um, it is a terrible port, a lazy ass port, and I don't think I've ever played a port this bad. Uh, but, that being said, it is still in some semblance uh, playable, especially on offer, and as it's only one of two wrestling games on the Switch, the other one being the, um, the WWE... Hang on, I've got here to my side, I've forgotten the name of it, WWE uh, 2K Battlegrounds, which is actually a pretty fun arcade style um, wrestling game. This one is a bit is a more of obviously a wrestling sim, and it, I mean, it, I wouldn't bother playing the story mode on it. I wouldn't get this for a story mode. I'd only get this for one v one, or uh, you can do. I had a, a lot of fun in a in a Royal Rumble. Uh, the frames do drop. It's still playable, but it's sluggish. So just bear that one in mind. It's not. It's not going to blow your socks off or anything. There are much better ports like how they got Dying Light and The Witcher 3 and Doom and Doom Eternal to work on the Switch, yet 2K couldn't get a wrestling game. I will never know. This is one of life's biggest mysteries, I suppose. Um, but I'm going to include some uh, of, of footage from Handheld here, um, and I'll, I'll leave you with that for the rest of the video. I, I won't... Uh, you know, I won't talk too much over it. The loading screens can be a bit long at times, and like I said, uh, some of the intros, especially if there's a lot of pyrotechnics and a lot of smoke, uh, it can cause the frames to drop hard. I'm talking down to like one to two frames a second. That's how bad uh, it can get. But you can skip the entrances, of course. And the graphics overall do look, you know, like PlayStation 2 era. But, you know, a couple of the best SmackDown games ever, in my opinion, was SmackDown and SmackDown 2 for the PlayStation 1. Absolutely loved those games and was so hyped to get SmackDown 2 for Christmas the year it came out. It was great. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the game is playable. You can still do it. I'm using my Pro Controller on the Switch OLED. And uh, yeah, um, this is it. Um, as long as you're wrestling one-on-one, -on -one, uh, you can have a lot of fun. You can play it Fatal 4-Way and, and other stuff. And you can pl uh, obviously play... Uh, with a friend uh, local, you cannot play online. There is no online playability on this game anymore. They, they've stopped all of that. Uh, and like I said, I wouldn't bother going through the character creation, um, uh, your own character story mode, because to be honest, it's very lackluster. It's not great. And the character creator and the, like, just isn't as good as it used to be. Um, but then I've not played a WWE game in a very long time. Um, but, yeah, um, from from uh, someone who wa watched wrestling religiously through the Attitude Era, I, I have fun with this game. I quite like playing it. Um, like I said, don't expect greatness. Don't expect amazing stuff. It's, uh, 
it is what it is. It's a terrible port, but it's probably the only port of a mainline w, um, WWE game that we're ever likely to get on the Switch, because 2K are lazy as balls, apparently. But thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it helped you out, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.